This video will cover the new enhancements in Gradebook for the 21.2 release. The first enhancement is for the period attendance report. So if you would go to the attendance homepage and you would click on your period attendance report, you now have the ability when you select a version, any version except for basic details, where the system will inform you if you don't have period attendance totals configured, it will give you the message. Period attendance totals have not been configured. And that's for any of the schools that you're running this report for in any one of the versions except for the basic details. It will inform you that period attendance totals have not been configured. The show and active school is now a new feature as well on a few of our you go to attendance and you want to look at the absent queue you now have the ability to show in active schools as well as on the set required home rooms from the attendance home page you have the ability to show in active schools this feature is also presented on the parent access administration page in a few areas as well if you would look on the parent access account maintenance, you have the ability to show in active schools as well as on your parent access registration key maintenance screen. You have the ability to show in active schools. Another new feature is on your principal home page. If you would go to the principal home page, now using the feature for the view teacher's information, you have the ability to see the teacher seating charts. So if you would choose a school, click search, you now have the ability, if a teacher has seating charts set up, you have the ability to see their seating charts. So if I would go to this teacher, you still have the same features of being able to view a teacher's grade book. You have the ability to see their five day planner, their grade book summary, and now their seating chart. So if I would click on seating chart, if a teacher has seating charts set up, you now have the ability to view their seating charts. You can print their seating charts. You can um, view that for each one of the teacher's classes. Any teacher that has a seating chart set up for any of their classes, if the teacher does not have a seating chart set up, you will get a message that indicates and gives you, you can, you can either create a new seating chart for that teacher or you have the ability to, it'll let you know that the teacher does not have a homeroom or class group in order to set up seating charts associated with that seating chart. And as you can see, it indicates no seating charts here. A new, another new feature on the mark entry screen, on the assignment mark screen in the comments comment, you can create assignment comment bank. So if you would go to a teacher's grade book and you would go to any of their classes, if you click on an assignment, as you can see, you have the comments here. So you have the ability now to set up a comment bank. So if you would go back to a teacher's home page and go to teacher's preferences, in this area where it says mark entry page option, you now have the ability to show comment autocomplete. So from this point, if you would click here, turn that on and click save. You can copy this to any of the classes that are available. As well as you can go to each individual class. And now if you click on a class, you have the ability to go to your assignment mark screen in the comment section, as you can see now, you have the ability to create assignment comment bank. So that means from this point, if you start typing in comments, and then you tab or go to the next comment section, 
if you hover over that, you have the ability to add this assignment to the comment bank. So if I click to add that to the comment bank, as well as add as many comments as you want. go and add that to the comment bank. You can do that by each individual class. All you would need to do is like, let's say if I didn't sign it, set it up for all my classes, you can go in and do it each individual class by clicking on this general assignment options, comment autocomplete, turn that on by clicking on it, save preferences, now you have the ability to set up an assignment bank here, comment bank as well. So at this point, as you start to create comments, if you've already created a comment in your comment bank, if you just type the first letter of that comment, it will automatically come up. If you go to the next one, and let's say you wanna say good, you can finish that part out, but you can add additional information or comments to that particular comment. And if I wanna go back and add this to my comment bank, I can do that as well. If there's a certain comment that you decide you do not wanna to continue to use, all you would have to do is click on your assignment comment bank. It'll bring up all of the assignments that you, uh, comments that you have created, and then you can go in and delete that comment. So let's say I don't want this comment any longer. I can click delete. And now that comment is no longer in my comment bank. Once you're finished, all you need to do is close that out and you can continue to create your comment.